Telltale und GameTap präsentieren. Sam and Max Spaceship will self-destruct in three, two, one. Spaceship destroyed. But I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. Looks like we escaped that horrible explosion in the nick of time. Are you okay, Max? Hm. I don't feel disintegrated. You? No more than usual. But it felt like landing on a boiled ham. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Featherly. I forgot you were in there. The indignities I'm made to suffer! Why on earth have you brought me here? Do you recognize this place? Does no one study the classics anymore? Well, well, we're obviously in the eternal twilight at the banks of the River Styx. The land of the dead. <laughs> oh boy, all the coolest people are dead. I should have brought my autograph book. Well, you've delivered Bosco to his final rest, so let's be off, shall we? Come on, we can't just leave Bosco here. Yeah, we should at least staple a note to him or something. No, we're gonna have to find Bosco's soul and get it back into his body. Uh, I knew the peace and quiet was too good to last. Und damit halli hallöchen und herzlich willkommen zu Let's Play Summit Max Episode 205. Die finale Episode der fünften, der zweiten Staffel. Hatte ich mich schon gleich versprochen. Spielmodule. Wir sind jetzt also im Land der Toten. Klingt auch schon sehr interessant. Ich mag auch die Musik. So, hier ist Bosco. Wer sich noch erinnert, in der letzten Episode, also in der vierten Episode, da hat die letzte Mission ja mit einem Cliffhanger aufgehört. Hier sind übrigens Maulwurfmenschen. Wir gehen mal kurz zur Leiche. Poor Bosco. The shock of seeing time-traveling mariachis was too much for his heart to take. Stress-induced heart attacks are the second most common cause of death for conspiracy freaks obsessed with alien abduction. What's the first? Unexplained organ removal. Oh. Herr Flügelich? All those times on the mariachi spaceship when you saw only one set of footprints? That was when I carried you. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. Dann sehen wir uns hier unten einfach mal um. This is what happens to babies that get thrown out with the bathwater. Oh. Hm, hm. Maulwurfmenschen. Hey, what are you guys working on over there? Psh. You surface dwellers just wouldn't understand. Surface dwellers is actually one of the nicest things we've been called. Hm. Prepaid seance cards. Okay, hier gibt es sogar eine Karte. Ah ja. Moment, die gucken wir uns gleich mal an. Erstmal die Poster. Health food must be a lot cooler in hell. <lacht> Serving the finest vegans. Also, die Toten hier kriegen Veganer zum Essen. Das äh, muss natürlich auch furchtbar gesund sein. Those books always take you to the touristy overpriced areas. Spielmodule. I heard rumors about a company burying millions of Minesweeper cartridges, but I always thought that was in the desert. I bet the sandworms carried them here. Ah ja. Bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass es eine Anspielung an dieses ähm E.T. Spiel. Es gab ja in den Oh Gott, in welchem Jahr war das? Es gab ja zumindest ein Spiel, das Geschichte geschrieben hat, als das schlechteste Spiel überhaupt, dieses äh, ich glaube E.T. The Game hieß das sogar und das wurde ja wirklich in der Wüste vergraben, weil sie die restlichen Module nicht losgekriegt haben, weil sich das Spiel so furchtbar schlecht verkauft hat, weil es auch einfach nur Mist war und deswegen haben sie ja diese ganzen Module echt in der Wüste vergraben und die wurden dann, ich glaube 20 oder 30 Jahre später erst wieder ausgegraben, eine sehr interessante Sache. Why can't every belief system have a transit system this efficient? Finde ich auch gut. Irdisches Reich? Fegefeuer? Rechter Weg und dann in die Hölle. 
Sind wir denn jetzt im Fe Fegefeuer? Rechter Weg. Why can't every belief system have a transit system this efficient? Aha. Auf jeden Fall sehr interessant. Dann sehen wir uns hier mal um. Oh, hallo. Harry. Oh, cute, Max. It's a little goth mole man. Token. Token mole man? So now we're underrepresenting the mole man demographic? I thought we were just insensitive to women and minorities. No, you need a token. You've ruined my big entrance. Wait. Harry Molman? In a past life, yes. Now I am become deaf. Warum ist der hier? Und wo genau sind wir hier überhaupt? Also wir sind ja anscheinend im Reich der Toten gelandet. Ich bin mir aber nicht sicher wo. Und wir müssen Boscos Seele finden. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear me? I'm deaf. Wait, hang on. Ah. False alarm. Tumor was benign. Okay. How did you get to be deaf? Hell's been on a big corporate efficiency kick lately. They're passing the savings on to me. They've been outsourcing the coolest jobs, and I underbid the last guy. Mhm. Mm Have you seen Bosco's soul lying around anywhere? Bosco. Hmm. Bosco. Now, is that his first or last name? We never asked. Or cared, really. Well, the last soul train came through about 30 minutes ago, so he's probably already in hell. Wir müssen also zur Hölle. How do we get to hell? Well, you have to take the soul train. Naturally. Your final stop depends on what's in your permanent record. But uh, if you two are trying to get to hell, that uh, really shouldn't be a problem. So, das klingt doch mal gut. Ist merkwürdig, aber ist in diesem Falle sehr praktisch. Ähm, ja. We want to take the next train out of here. Nobody gets on board the soul train without a token. How do we get one of those? You automatically get one when you die at your appointed time. Oh, cheer up, fellas. You'll be dead soon enough. Yeah. See you later, Harry. Maybe sooner than you think. Lieber nicht. Karaoke-Maschine. Hey, it's a Mr. Reaper phone. Hey, good looking. I'll be back to cut you down later. So there's the gumball machine we've been missing. Oh, I wouldn't say we've been missing it. Ah. War das nicht der Kaugummi-Automat Kaugummi aus unserem Viertel? Ich bin mir nicht ganz sicher. Maulwürfe am Werk? Hey pal, can you? Whoa, wait! Yours really knows how to fill out a suit. Well, I never. Ah, yeah. Gucken wir uns hier die Poster noch mal an. Hmm, maybe we should take a boat tour of the Phlegathon. Boat tour? The best way to see it is bobbing eternally just below the surface. Sieht auf jeden Fall nach einer Entspannungsfahrt aus. I'd take out more insurance. But Max won't give me his personal information for the beneficiary form. Being the victim of identity theft is the real hell, Sam. Oh. Hmm. Academy of Haunting. I wonder if we should enroll. Do not go gentle into those good night classes. Hey, wir waren ja schon mal tot. Wer sich an die vorletzte Episode erinnert bei Jürgen, da sind wir ja schon mal gestorben. Waren dann natürlich wieder lebendig. Jetzt wäre es vielleicht praktischer, tot zu sein, um irgendwie Bosco zu holen. Aber den Tod haben wir schon einmal überwunden. Jetzt ist nur die Frage, wie wir hier direkt weiterkommen. Nächster Zug. Hier ist eine Leiter. Ja. Gucken wir mal an die Oberfläche. we end up on our own street you mean we've been living over the gateway to hell all this time and never took advantage of it our condo association is going to be receiving a very stern letter about this uh, ich dachte wir werden in der welt der tod mama bosco 
Okay. Stinkies Stube. Haben wir nicht den Verlauf der Zeit geändert in der letzten Episode? Durch unsere ganzen Zeitreise-Geschichten? Wir gehen mal hier hin. Hi, Cops. Hello and welcome to a pimp <lacht> Uh, is it my imagination or is Bluster Blaster acting weirder than normal? He suffered severe injuries while testing an experimental wireless antenna. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I'm in so much pain right now. <laughs> We have been using laughing gas to keep him sedated. Oh, ja, macht ja auch Sinn bei einer Maschine. What car upgrades are you offering this time? Turn your vehicle into a super fast nitro burning funny car for a limited time only. Offer and Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh yeah, I can take that mother out of the street away, push her to the red line till she screams, pop the clutch, kick you the afterburners and smoke them pigs as I sail over the county line. Woo! You can't see over the wheel, Max. Fascist. Yeah. So viel dazu. Mhm. Mm Where are you guys getting enough nitrous to do car upgrades? Luster Blaster was given laughing gas to ease his suffering after his recent injury. Wait, you've been selling the leftovers from his prescription? And these guys are the only ones not going to hell. Oh, the irony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want that nitrous upgrade for our car. I want to go fast enough to blow the stink off of Sam. We're sorry, but your vehicle has ich finde Blaster Blaster echt super. Nachdem wir ja auch letzte Episode rausgefunden haben, dass Sam ihn ja eigentlich gebaut hat. Hm. Can't you guys upgrade the DeSoto? The nitrous speed upgrade is only for vehicles in working condition. We're sorry, but your vehicle is completely dead. Yeah. So long, cops. Stay virtuous. Gut, so viel dazu. Da müssen wir vielleicht später noch mal was erledigen gehen. Stinkies. Wir werden dich vermissen, Opa Stinky. Hm. Gulliloch? DeSoto. I can't believe that DeSoto died while we were away. There's so much I never got the chance to say. Och Mann, ey. Was ist denn passiert mit dem Wagen? Ja gut, wir sind in der vierten Episode. Haben wir den ja überhaupt gar nicht benutzt. Und hier ist Mama Bosco. Wir reden erstmal mit ihr hier. Was macht sie denn überhaupt hier? Mrs. Mama Bosco? That's Ms. Mama Bosco. You think just because I'm dead, you don't have to respect my independence? How'd you get to be a ghost? I don't know. I was sitting in my apartment when all of a sudden there was this explosion. I don't remember hearing or causing an explosion. It was a great big geyser of vinegar and baking soda. Okay. Yeah. Also reden wir mit dem Geist der toten Mutter von Bosco. Bosco ist übrigens auch tot. Wenn ich nochmal daran erinnern darf. Wait a second. Where is your apartment exactly? On the second floor above the store, fool. Where else would I live? Ah. Oh. Äh. <lacht> ähm. How do we get to your apartment? Hell if I know. Some fool blew up the stairs. Moment mal. Wasn't somebody there to guide you to the afterlife? There was some little man who kept going on about a token and some train, but the second explosion scared him off. Now the stairs are destroyed and I can't get up there to get that token. Okay. Sorry for your loss. Any final arrangements you want us to take care of? Oh, I ain't going anywhere yet. Even if I could get to the afterlife, I can't rest until I find the man who trashed my store. But that was over 40 years ago. Wow, she really holds the grudge. I'm glad I broke up with her. 
I spent the last 40 years thinking up new ways to make his life a living hell. But then she says things like that, which makes me love her even more. Okay. And this guy who trashed your store, what did he look like? I never got a good look at his face, which is why I hired that P.I. to track him down. But I remember he was about six feet tall. Like Bosco? Yeah. And he had big, bulbous forearms. Kind of like Bosco's forearms. Right. And he was kind of balding, with skin that wasn't quite purple, but sort of... Bosco colored? Yeah, you could say that. Have you two seen the guy? Well, we haven't seen anyone who fits that description, man. Ich find's echt herrlich. Wenn ich noch mal daran erinnern darf, wir haben in der vierten Episode äh, mit diesem Essig und diesem Backpulver diese Explosion ausgelöst. Das hat anscheinend sie getötet. Oder ist sie dadurch jetzt gestorben? Ich bin mir nicht sicher, aber ich glaube schon. Zumindest haben wir diese Explosion ausgelöst. Dann sind wir in der Zeit auch zurückgereist und äh, haben sie ja auch in der Vergangenheit getroffen. Und dort hat sie uns ja auch erzählt, dass eben dieser Mann den Laden verwüstet hat. Und das war ja Bosco. Also hat sie jetzt 40 Jahre lang versucht, den Mann zu finden, der ihr Sohn war. Oder so. Ist überhaupt nicht verwirrend. Have you seen Bosco lately? Not as much as a mother likes. No. I'm always upstairs plotting my revenge and he's always busy working on his inventions, losing track of time. That's why I send him an alarm clock every Christmas. Well, you'll get to see more of him now that you're both dead. Let's not bother the poor woman any more than we already have, Max. Also, sie wohnt direkt über ihm, also über dem Laden und schickt ihn an Weihnachten immer eine Uhr. Wie wir schon in der ersten Episode der zweiten Staffel mitgekriegt haben, dass Bosco jeden Weihnachten per Paket eine Uhr kriegt. Ich finde super, wie das alles zusammenläuft. Mir gefällt das echt, aber es, es ist so absurd irgendwie. Na komm. Don't go into the light. Oh, I ain't going into any light until I find out who's responsible for this. Ich finde es echt herrlich. Äh, gehen wir erstmal zu Sybil. <lacht> ist schon, schon super. Oh, Sam and Max, you're here. I've been dying to tell you. You will never guess what Abe did during our date last night. We stopped speculating about that months ago. It was making me lose my appetite. Sam, shut it. Girlfriend, dish. He actually got down on one jowl and asked me to marry him. Congrats, I guess. I've got so much planning to do. I'd be a wreck if I didn't have the monster to help. Oh, it's no bother. Hallo? Oh, Jürgens Monster. Hochzeitskram. Oh, der Fuchs trägt übrigens eine Prinzessinnenkrone und ein... Ich weiß nicht, wie das heißt. Sure, they talk about personality, but Miss America always goes to the fox. Mhm. Relax. Relax. No. Ja, wir haben ja noch einiges zu tun. Wir reden noch einmal mit Sybil. Hi, Sybil. I don't have much time to chat, Sam. I've got so much to plan. Okay. Is there room in the wedding party for Max and me? As president of the U.S. and high priest of the Ocean Chimps, I'm qualified both legally and spiritually to conduct the ceremony. Hmm, how to put this tactfully? They'll be serving ice cream in hell before I let that happen. Das können wir einrichten. What's the wedding gonna be like? Is it a shotgun wedding? Max! What a thing to ask. Oh wait, he doesn't know what that means, does he? Just let him enjoy his fantasy version for a while. Um, okay. Did we accidentally leave our monster in here? Ah, we're gonna have to get a leash. Back in the trunk, gruesome! Don't you dare take him away. I've been spilling all the details of my whirlwind romance with Abe. It's just like talking with my girlfriends. Why am I made to suffer so? Okay. Can we give you anything for the wedding? We kept one of the zombies' arms that fell off. It's old and kind of blue now. You want to borrow it? That's a lovely offer, but no thanks. Finde ich jetzt aber schade, dass wir nicht zur Hochzeit dürfen. Good luck, Sybil. So, Hals und Beinbruch. How you doing, Grusom? What have you been doing? 
doing since you confessed your love for Sybil and she turned you down? Mostly just replaying that moment in my mind over and over again. Hey, monster, which color do you think Abe would look best in? <sighs> Maroon. Okay. Snooty overpriced wedding invitations. I still haven't gotten my invitation. Strange, since the wedding's only hours away. Lost in the mail, I'm sure. Natürlich. Cake at a wedding? Okay. Besonders, wie lange waren wir denn weg? Ich meine, in der dritten Episode, das muss ich kurz mal überlegen, in der zweiten Episode haben sie sich ja getrennt und in der dritten, in der vierten Episode, boah, ich blick da überhaupt nicht mehr durch, muss doch dann in der dritten gewesen sein. Genau, in der dritten, am Ende der dritten, hat sie ihn ja wieder aufgesucht, weil sie immer noch in ihn verliebt ist. Und jetzt heiraten die schon? Ich meine, ich will das ja nicht in Frage stellen, aber geht vielleicht ein bisschen schnell. Hey, it's open. Just kidding. It's locked. <lacht> okay. Wir waren doch nur in der ersten Staffel da drin, oder? Ich glaube schon. In einer Episode. She needs a tattoo of a woodchuck claiming a prize at a raffle. Hm, naja, zumindest hat sie keine zehn verschiedenen Jobs mehr wie früher. Okay, dann verlassen wir mal das. Etablissement. Okay. Wir gucken uns hier nochmal die Poster an. Und dann gehen wir direkt zu Stinky. Hey, we could use a new hand basket for the next time we're frolicking about in a leafy glade. I can never find one that goes with my outfit. Ja, du bist übrigens nackt, Max, aber hey. Hm, we should stock up on papal indulgences while we've got the chance. Ja, so geht's auch. You know, I'm a slave to fashion, but that bottled mole man musk is way too expensive. All you gotta do is frighten one of them and they'll scent mark you for no charge. That'd mhm. be a nice place to live, but the whole interview process and rental agreement is way too strict. At least the part where they let you try to put a camel through the eye of a needle is fun. Okay. <lacht> Die Plakate auch immer schön. Mhm. Stinky Steiner, wir gucken mal nach. Hm, they're closed. Ha. Okay, bin ich mal gespannt. Oh, was goes no service shop? Wir gucken erstmal in die üble News. Mysterious heatwave grips city. Uh, if this keeps up, I'll have to strip down to my beach costume. Oh. Ja. Yeah. President still missing. Nation panicked. The nation panics when I go missing. They panic when I make presidential addresses. I wish they'd make up their minds already. Wie lange waren wir denn weg? Also frage ich mich jetzt wirklich. Gucken wir mal nach. Hi, Flint. What's shaking? Can't talk, fellas. I'm still waiting for Bosco to get back. Oh, we already found Bosco. Yeah, his corpse is already decaying down in the sewer. Hey, that's cute, little pals. But I got a 40-year-old case to wrap up here. Okay, Boscos Fenster. Ach ja, stimmt, das wollte ich auch noch erwähnen. Die Mama Bosco hat dann ja den Flint Paper darauf angesetzt, dass er eben diesen Mann findet, der ja eben Bosco ist. Also der eigene Sohn von ihr. Ich denke mal, jeder von euch, der hier ein bisschen aufpasst, wird hier schon noch durchblicken. Aber ich finde das irgendwie <lacht> schon geckig. Puh, it's getting hot down there. Ist das denn die, die, die Spalte zur Hölle? Man weiß es nicht. Mal im Tron 9000. Ja. Ich fand es schön, als er Another One Bites the Dust gesungen hat. Der, <lacht> der hängt hier schon seit der ersten Episode rum. Looks like the rat seedy giant robot carcass casino is finally getting a light show. Not casino, family entertainment complex. Get it right. Ja gut. Well, well, Jimmy Two Teeth. We haven't seen much of you lately. Yeah, well I got an image to maintain. Can't be seen with you lowlifes. 
You know, that's a lot of attitude for somebody we first met crawling up our toilet. I gone legit. I'm building a child-friendly resort destination here. Is the Mametron coming back to life? Nah, he's brain dead. We're turning him into a fantastic laser light show. You know, for the kids. Families go apes over that kind of crap. Okay. It's a rock. Danke für die Information. Wir gucken mal in unser Büro. Ach ja. Oh shoot. There's a giant time traveling elevator blocking the door. Ach ja. Featherly laid an egg. Don't ask me how. <lacht> Wirklich jetzt? Okay, wir haben immer noch die Teerkuchenprobe von der letzten Episode dabei übrigens. Das war ja auch die erste Episode, in der wir so einen richtigen Cliffhanger hatten.